Hello and welcome to my science tutorials. In this video, we want to look at multiplication of number bases. So let's start by looking at a very simple example. We are to multiply 21 base 3 by 21 base 3. Okay, so let's proceed to look at how multiplication of number bases work. So we have 21 base 3, another 21 base 3. So let's look at that. We are supposed to multiply. So just like the way we do normal multiplication, we do the same thing over here. So we have 1 multiplied by 1 will give us 1. 1 multiplied by 2 will give us 2. Then 2 multiplied by 1 will give me 2. Then 2 multiplied by 2 will give me 4. Now because it is 4, it is more than 3. So we have to uh, make sure it is not more than 3 since we are dealing with base 3. So 2 multiplied by 2 is 4. Then we ask ourselves how many times will 3 go into 4? It will go there 1. We write down 1 aside. It's left with 1 as a remainder. So we write down the remainder first before we bring this to the end since we have no other number to multiply again. So this is what we are left with. So after here, all we have to do is to add what we have over here and then we get our final answer. So we have 1 plus, there's nothing at the bottom over here, so it's 0. So 1 plus 0 is 1, so we have 1 over here. 2 plus 2 is 4. And because we are dealing with base 3, we can write 4. So we ask ourselves, how many times will 3 go into 4? It will go there 1. We write that 1 down. And then it will be left with 1. So we write down the remainder over here. Then we carry that 1. The one that... Uh, the one which is the number of times that 3 go into 4. Now we have 1 over here. So we have 1. So we are supposed to write 1 here. But remember we've carried some 1 earlier on. Which is the guy over here. So that 1 plus the 1 over here becomes 2. So I write down 2. So we have no number carried. And then I have 1 over here. So I bring 1 over here. So my final answer is 1, 2, 1, 1, base 3. So this becomes my final answer answer after i multiply 21 base 3 by itself all right so let's have a look at another example so over here we have to simplify 203 base 5 by 42 base 5 and then we have to leave our answer in base 10 leave the answer you have to leave the answer in base 10 okay so let's proceed to look at the solution to this problem so first of all we have to do our normal multiplication in base 5 and then after we are done then we convert the answer to base 10 so i have over here 203 base 5 and then i have 42 base 5 all right so we are multiplying so 2 multiplied by 3 will give me 6 now, because 6 is above 5, we can write the 6. So, we ask ourselves how many times will 5 go into 6? It will go there once and it will be left with 1. So, we write down the remainder. Now, 2 multiplied by 0 will give me 2. Plus the 1 that we carried will give me, sorry, 2 multiplied by 0 is 0. So, plus the 1 that we carried, so we have 1 over here. And then 2 multiplied by 2 is 4. It's not above 5. It's not 5 and above. So we write down the 4. Alright, so now I come to the second digit, which is 4 over here. 4 multiplied by, this is no longer here. 4 multiplied by 3, that will give me 12. Now I ask myself, how many times will 5 go into 12? It will go there 2 times, which is 10. And we are left with 2 as the remainder. So we write 2 here as the remainder. Now, 4 multiplied by 0 is 0 plus the 2 we carried, so it becomes 2. So this is no longer here. Now 4 multiplied by 8, sorry, 4 multiplied by 2 is 8. Now 5 will go into 8 once, it will be left with 3. So we write down the remainder, which is 3. And then remember we have 1 over here that we carried, so we have 1 over here. So now all we have to do is to add everything we have over here, and then we get our final Answer. So 1 plus nothing over here will give me 1, obviously. Now 1 plus 3 will give me, 1 plus 2 will give me 3. So I write down the 3 over here. 
Now, 4 plus 2, because this is in base 5, 4 plus 2 is 6, we can write down the 6. So we ask ourselves, how many times will 5 divide the 6? It will go there 1, remainder 1. So it goes there 1, it's left with 1. So we write down the remainder and we carry this 1. So we have 3 here, plus the 1 that we carried is 4. Then write 4. Then we have 1 here plus nothing, so it's 1. So our answer, after we multiply 203 base 5 by 42 base 5, will give us 1, 4, 1, 3, 1, base 5. Now remember, the question says we should leave our answer in base 10. So to do that, we convert 1, 4, 1, 3, 1, base 5 to base 10. We do that by multiplying each individual number over here by the base, and then we power the base from right to left. So by that, we have 1 multiplied by 5. The first one over here multiplied by the base then plus the 4 multiplied by the base, which is 5, then plus 1 multiplied by the base, then plus 3 multiplied by the base, then plus the last digit, which is 1 multiplied by the base, which is 5. So we start numbering or giving it powers from left, from right to left. So we power the bases, so it be, we start from 0, 1, 2, 3, then 4. So let's proceed. So over here we have 1 multiplied by 5 raised to the power 4 will give me 625. So plus 4 multiplied by 3 raised to the power uh, 5 raised to the power 3 is 125. So I have 125 over here. Plus 1 multiplied by 5 raised to the power squared is 25. So I have 25 here plus 3 multiplied by 5 raised to the power 1 is 5 then plus 1 multiplied by 5 raised to the power 0 is 1 so I have 1 over here so from here I simplify so 1 multiplied by 625 will give me 625 plus 4 multiplied by 125 will give me 500 plus 1 multiplied by 25 will give me 25 plus 3 multiplied by 5 will give me 15, plus 1 multiplied by 1 will give me 1. So 625 plus 500 plus 25 plus 15 plus 1 will give me 1166 base 10, or you can just leave it like this as your final answer. So if we multiply 203 base 5 by 42 base 5, we get 14131 base 5, and we and if we convert that to base 10, we get 1166 base 10 as our final answer. All right, so let's have a look at one more example. So we are to evaluate, evaluate 1011 base 2 by 1101 base 2. Alright, so let's proceed to look at the solution to this problem. So we have 1011 base 2 and then 1101 base 2. Okay, so the pen is not writing too well, but it's fine. So we have, we use each number at the base to multiply what we have at the top. Okay, so we have, let me rewrite this guy as well. So we have 1 multiplied by 1 will give me 1. 1 multiplied by the 1 over here will also give me 1. 1 multiplied by 0 will give me 0. 1 multiplied by 1 will give me 1. So now I come to the 0 over here. 0 multiplied by um, 1 will give me 0. 0 multiplied by 1 will give me 0. 0 multiplied by 0 will give me 0. 0 multiplied by 1 will give me 0 over here. So I proceed to the next number which is the 1 over here. 1 multiplied by 1 will give me 1. So I write it under this exactly. 1 multiplied by 1 will give me 1. 1 multiplied by 0 will give me 0. 1 multiplied by 1 will give me 1. So I come to the last digit over here. So 1 multiplied by 1 will give me 1. So I write it directly under this. Then the 1 here multiplied by the second 1 will give me 1. 1 multiplied by 0 is 0. And then 1 multiplied by the last 1 over here 
will give me one so this is what i have so all i have to do is to add everything here so if i create a dot of these guys coming down here so we have one here so i just write the one here one plus zero is one so i write it since the base we are dealing with is in base two for all of them so this is one this is also one so zero zero plus one it is also one so i write that one over here as well so i now have over here one plus zero is zero uh is one sorry plus one is two plus one over here is three so now one plus zero plus one plus one is three now two will go into that three once i write down one here it will be left with one so i write that one over here then now i have zero plus zero which is zero plus one which is one plus the one that i have over here becomes two now i can write that two so how many times will the two go into the two it will go once it's left with zero so i write a zero over here i carry the one so one plus zero is one plus the one that i carried over here is two two will go in there one remainder what zero so i write a zero here i carry the one so i have this one over here plus the one that i carry it's two then two going to that two ones remainder zero so i write a zero here and then because i have only this remainder left the number of times sorry the number of times it went in one left i bring that one to the front over here so my answer is one zero 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 one 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 base two right so this is my final answer one zero 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 one 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 base two as my final answer if i multiply these two numbers that i have over here so thank you so much for watching this is how we do multiplication in number basis so thank you once again for watching and i will see you in the next video bye bye